Imagine this girl with a crown on her head, and maybe her name was Anne Sherman, so it's Princess Anne driving a Sherman tank. <laughs> so, all Maz has to do is concentrate, repeat, and visually associate new names. But Maz's challenge today isn't to remember the punters, but the horses, as he's to take the mic for the first race of the day. Well, OK, Maz, you've got 11 horses to learn. A couple of hours to go now. The race is at five past two. They're quite easy names to remember, I think. There's nothing too difficult, nothing too difficult to say, which sometimes you get. You think they're difficult names to remember. I'll tell you in two hours. <laughs> and the tension is rising both on and off the course as Maz prepares to put the newly acquired tips to the test. With 11 horses, two hours and one race, all the odds in Maz's favour. They're off, racing over a mile and a quarter then, and I'm so lucky against the rails is the first one to show. I can't really see a thing at the moment. Then comes Crowwood and Shazan House and Chantico behind these, and the grey prime number is the back marker as they complete. That's Thunder Rocker in the front there. And it's Wild Savannah who's taken the lead. Now. Very difficult, the names. Thunder Rock is trying to get on turns on the outside. Chantico coming between them. You can't really see the colours as they come up now. Wild Savannah being run down by Chandico, but while Savannah wins the Chandico, Thunder Rock, young maker, I'm so lucky. Extremely difficult. I found that very, very tough indeed. Was I right, Wild Savannah? Maz may have got off to a shaky start, but will practising the tips make him perfect a week later when he has to commentate on the end of term baseball match? He's got 22 names to remember and just one point of introduction to do it. I'm going to try and learn the names using word association techniques. Harry Eccles, sir. Harry Carpenter, the commentator, eating an Eccles cake. Michael Cranny, sir. Cranage sounds like cranberries. He's quite small as well. A small cranberries. Michael Cranage. Christopher, sir. I'm just seeing him with ham on the top of his head. Joe Wormsley, sir. Jack McKay, sir. Ryan Steele, sir. Wally, sir. Darryl Greenhouse, sir. Darryl Greenhouse, sir. Darryl Greenhouse, sir. Josh Begby, sir. Adam Hayden, sir. Darryl Starfield, sir. Michael Ferkel, sir. Paul Wormsley, sir. Oh, yeah. Martin Wall, sir. Martin Wall, sir. Here comes Harry, Harry Carpenter, Harry Eccles. Here comes Michael Fairhair, Fairclough. Yates. This is definitely Elliot Blackley. This one's got to be Cranberries, Cranage, Michael Cranage. Final pitch of the match. Ball goes into the air. It's Ryan Steele, made of steel, catches it. That's the end of the game. And they are well pleased with themselves. And so is Maz, who almost gets a home run with 16 out of 22 names correct. Now you've seen the sort of tips that Maz was given. Let's see how you do with matching names and faces. For this test, we're going to introduce you to some of the characters involved in the Memory Manor mystery when the priceless masterpiece was stolen. Now, don't worry, we've changed the names and faces to protect the innocent. Let's see how well you do at remembering them. First, there's James Waring, a security guard on duty the night of the robbery. Next, we've got Tom Ellis, the estate manager, both at the time of the theft and when the painting was returned. Detective Jack Hunter, the man who finally tracked the painting down. This is Dale Deakin, a major suspect. He was jailed for the theft of another painting stolen from a nearby estate in Wiltshire. And finally, we've got a mystery informant known only as Ian Daly. Grab your remote or have your pen and paper ready to make your selection. After seven long years, the painting was finally recovered thanks to the hard work and persistence of one man, the detective. Here's a picture of him, but can you recall his name? Well, did you get that? The correct answer was three, Jack Hunter. Coming up. Speed dating at the manor, does attraction improve or impair your memory? I just have no idea about anything. I think maybe we just weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Antiques roadshow expert Paul Atterbury is put to the test on the Memory Manor Tour. 
And is this really the way to Amarillo? We don't just use our short and long-term memory to remember facts and faces. In practice, we use them both all the time. You need it even to remember exactly where you are. At the Memory Manor maze, some of our volunteers are preparing for a test involving spatial memory. We've challenged two teams to memorise the same route to the centre of our maze, and Professor Robert Logie has devised a different approach for each team. Yeah, left under a bridge and left of home to victory, and that's it. <laughs> so, Robert, what's the plan? There are two teams comprise two adults and two teenagers. So for one team, they've been shown a series of landmarks that they have to memorise and remember whether to turn right or left when they come to the, the line of the rhinoceros. So then right fork at that portcullis and uh, second right at the... You've got to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> and the other team has been shown a map of the maze, which they have to memorise and find their way to the centre using that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take that straight up, bare left, bare right. Under a bridge. Bridge. Right. And, and still staying right. And then it's left. Still staying right. <laughs> where, does it, where does it need to lead? And to the in top? both cases, they have to see um, which gets there first. Great. So, teams, it's time to go and test your memories. We know that people vary dramatically in the way they think and remember uh, their way around uh, the environment, particularly if they're learning a new environment, a new city, where, where they're going on holiday perhaps. Uh, some people rely on a bird's eye view, like a map. Other people rely on lists of landmarks. But the red team are soon struggling with their mental map. <laughs> the very first decision, and it's forgotten already. Yeah, this way, I think. The blue team has a confident start, remembering which way to turn at each landmark. But they're soon lost too. Hold on, suit of armour. Left. Hold on, let's go through it. Let's think again, guys.